Alright, so there's an LI7. I'm in a KI. I can't run. What do we do? Well, I will show you the way and then I'll try to um, explain how I did it. I probably won't be able to. I haven't um, written anything down. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, but I suppose it's uh, maybe there's a name for it. I just call it a one turn reversal kill shot or a uh <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say what what else I call it. It's dirty. So I'll just play it in real time. And now I shall try to explain with some comment film use okay so we're facing uh, an ally 7 who's got advantage over us we can run away because he's faster um, I'm actually doing 400 miles an hour here but he is doing 400 miles an hour and he can sustain it and he's like 5k above me so what do we do? I made this fancy video so I wouldn't have to explain anything. With all these trails and shit. But I have to keep <laughs> continuing it. Um, I will probably say something constructive I'm not just trying to get into Hollywood with this it's terrible but yeah so <laughs> here I see him doing a big loop over which is what I would do because you you get a better view on your uh, prey and what you can see I'm doing here is I'm turning back in towards him instead of like running away in a straight line keeping my 400 miles an hour which I can't really keep up in like, okay, I, but um, what I want is him on top of me because he'll have to come down with a lot of speed unless he's smart and like chops his throttle but people aren't smart so where's the loop the loop and I was doing 400 miles an hour almost so my objective here is to slow my plate down um, and look like an easy target. It's all about tricking people, giving them the illusion that he's gonna, you know, shoot me down easily. He's planned out what he's gonna do. He's envisioned this perfect merge, and he's coming down hard. Now the trick to this is, as you can see, ah, play that one again. Remind me to click the pause button. Why do I have to explain this? I made all these trails, so I didn't have to explain anything. But yeah, uh, he's um, he's about 400 yards. right now he's about 600 400 yards and that's firing range so this is the time when i go vertical um i should probably explain the step before that which is when do you start turning tighter because I'm, I'm doing a shallow turn all along here a shallow turn and he'll probably think that that's about as hard as i can turn but i'm just tricking him um and also i gotta keep just enough speed but not too much it's got to be a lot less than his he's doing about 400 400 miles an hour burning down and um so just enough to do a small little loop um play the next one thank you 
and this is approach is perfectly reasonable um, I don't know if you can see me yeah and you see my shallow little turn it's it looks really lazy and looks like I'm flying with the star limiter and he's just gonna blaze down you don't have to worry about um, compressing or anything like that it's gonna be an easy kill another easy prey flying high in your L gay but what happens this is confusing me these shots I'm terrible Oh, I don't... I'm too tired to explain. Just watch the thing. Go to the f DA, jump in the furball arena, and... Oh yeah, here's his view, basically. He's coming in, and... Once he realizes that... Uh, he doesn't really know what, where I've gone, it's too late, because he's blown up. You can see how sharp I'm able to make that loop over, and you time it perfectly, you get that sh He'll just fly right into your gun sights, um, at like point blank, and it's impossible to miss. But the trick is making the timing and all that. Um, yeah, so that doesn't explain anything. But I don't care.